Hello everyone. Today I wanted to show you how to create a look inspired by Blade Runner 2049. I will show you how to recreate a look from the first scene from the movie and I hope you will like it. This is our before and after. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my mailing list if you're interested in the color grading course for beginners that I'm creating and donate to my YouTube channel if you like. I would really appreciate it. You can find all links below my videos. Let's start. And this is our clip. I got it from Artgrid and it's been shot with DJI Mavic Pro in lock and I am working in color managed environment. So it's already converted to Rec 709. And if you don't know how to work in DaVinci Resolve color managed, have a look at the video that I will tag in here. And let's open our node graph that is empty here as we'll be creating the node tree from the scratch. It will be a very simple node tree. And also in my gallery, I already have a few stills from Blade Runner 2049. I just found them online and we'll be trying to match our shot with this one. So let's click on the split screen here and let's swipe it to reveal our clip. We can place it side by side like this. And first of all, I think that if we want to match any clip with a reference, we should make sure that our clip and the reference are quite similar from the start. As sometimes it's quite impossible to recreate the same grade on totally different clips as we are dealing with different camera, lighting, set design, etc. And here my clip and the reference is quite different, but I will try to treat it more as the inspiration. And to me, it's all about trying to bring it closer to this world from the reference rather than copying it exactly. So keep it in mind. And let's just close the gallery and let's start doing the job. So I'll start from the exposure as I usually do. So let me label my first serial node then. And I will use my primary lift gamma and gain wheels, trying to match the exposure with the reference. Okay, and this is before and after. Just a slight change for now. We can always improve it later on. Now I'll create another serial node hitting option S and I'll call it look. As here we'll be trying to match the colors and the temperature of our clips. And we have a lot of the 30 grayish green in our reference shot. And our clip is quite saturated. So let's see what happens when we take a bit of the saturation down. I will open my curves then and I'll go to hue versus saturation. And I'll bring that whole curve down, let's say halfway. And now when we'll be adding that green tint to the clip, it will work nicely as it won't oversaturate the image. So let's go back to the primaries and let's start with gamma, pushing it up towards green, just slightly. And let's observe how the clip behaves. And let's do the same with gain. All right, and I'll go back to gamma again. As you see, sometimes it really takes time to achieve desired look. All right, now looks way more similar than before. Not the sky, but we'll be correcting the sky separately. And this is before and after. So now let's just move to the sky. Let me create the next node then, and let me label it. And now we'll be isolating the sky and we will use both a mask and a qualifier. So I'll go to the power windows and I'll grab a rectangular mask. Then I'll place it over the sky. And now let's turn the highlight on and let's go to the qualifier. And let's untick the hue and the saturation and let's move the luminance slider up to select only the brightest parts of the clip. And now I'll denoise my selection and I will blur it a bit. And let's go back to the primaries. And here the first thing I can see is that our sky is a bit too contrasting comparing with the reference. So let's take some of this contrast down first using the contrast slider here. Okay, looks more similar. And now I'll use my gamma wheel pushing it towards yellow. And then I'll push gain towards green. 
and I'll also decrease it using the master wheel below. And this is before and after. Look how big difference we've made. It doesn't look exactly the same as the reference, but as I said, the goal was to treat the reference as the inspiration, and I think we've achieved great result. So let's see the final result full screen. Thank you so much for watching my videos, guys. I hope that you like them. If you do, hit subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment below. See you soon.